Yo, what's up, AJC here. In today's video, I got a brand new best jump shot in NBA 2K20 that the 2K devs have made the greatest green light jump shot in the game, all right? So we're gonna go through that in today's video, but before we get into it, first off, it would mean the world if you could like this video. It only takes two seconds. And secondly, if you do wanna shout out in the next video, all you have to do is comment down below on this one. Let's just make a jump shot, all right? Comment that down below, and you can mean they're running to win a shout out in the next video. So we're gonna go through everything in today's jump shot video. We're gonna go through the badges to put on, when to release it how who it's good for and everything like that so we're gonna start off with badges guys because that is where it's most important okay so this is not only a jump shot that um is for like someone with 20 badges 30 badges whatever this is even for people that only have five to six guys because this jump shot will work really well even for those builds okay so the first badge i'd look at guys is definitely quick draw if you can get it on hall of fame get it to hall of fame if you can get it on gold get it on gold all right this is a fast jump shot i am telling you that right now um and you do actually get a bit of a boost when it's on hall of fame um so trust me guys this jump shot works really really well in hall of fame like you're not going to be able to get stopped on it okay next one range extender we're obviously going to max out you definitely need that now this is where it starts to get interesting i usually have corn uh catch and shoot sorry on silver in this case guys you're free to have it on bronze if you want to put your badge points somewhere else okay a bronze catch and shoot with this jump shot works really really well silver is if you got the extra badge points might as well but what i do guys i'd go like this and this okay bronze corner specialist bronze catch and shoot i'd rather have that lineup than just going you know silver catch and shoot something like that okay so trust me on this bronze catch and shoot will definitely be more than enough for you um and if you do have the extra badge points you don't know where else to put it then go to silver but i'm telling you catch and shoot on bronze will definitely do you well okay corner specialist we already talked about this corner specialist definitely just have it on bronze that is more than enough as well um dead eye also if you want you can have it on bronze but i'm telling you this jump shot so fast you know you're gonna be getting shots that should be 10 percent covered a wide open okay so trust me you probably don't need it that's why if anything just get it on bronze maximum but i wouldn't it wouldn't be one of the first badges i'd get okay i'd get quick draw first range extender then catch and shoot then corner specialist and guys this is where it gets interesting guys i would get hot zone hunter okay if you can max that out max it out and also difficult shots okay the reason why guys this jump shot is really good when it's coming off a dribble or anything like that okay i usually use it you know doing drill moves and then just pulling up um i don't really do the fadeaways and things like that but if you are that type of build that likes to do fadeaways guys this will definitely work for you so if you want to have difficult shots on for this definitely go for it in that sense okay so dead eye i would stay away from if it was besides these uh what is this six badges if i was a guard guys the next badge i'd probably look at is volume shooter guys get your stats up go for volume shooter um but if anything else guys max these out such as catch and shoot corner specialist hot zone hunter um if you got the badge points for it but these are the seven badges i would focus on for this jump shot if you are a big man you know feel free to look at you know deep fades or something like that um, but when it comes to the other badges like green machine honestly you don't need it you're gonna be able to green consistently with it um tyler shooter don't really need steady shooter not really flexible release definitely not um and everything like that so yeah guys like i said like stick to these what seven badges stick to these seven badges um and if you still have badge points left over feel free to upgrade them even more like you know silver catch and shoot like what i said from before okay um but like i said guys we're gonna get into how to actually you know use this jump shot you know what's good about it what's bad about it and who i recommend it for so let's get into that right now all right so welcome to the film room we are gonna be going through this jump shot the good things about it bad things about it who i recommend this jump shot for and also the best time to release it especially if you have no shot meter okay so first off guys you know me i love to shoot with no shot meter and i do suggest each and every single one of you should do the same i don't care if you only got you know 33 point rating whatever it is you should be able to shoot with no shot meter because trust me the boost will help you out so much okay so I do have some part gameplay for you i um, shooting with this jump shot guys and some of it like this play right here it's three back to back um to back sorry green lights just like that okay so you're gonna see that in this footage but let's first all go through like the good things about this jump shot and why i really like it so much okay the reason why guys is because of the speed the speed is everything on this jump shot um especially if you're a build that you know it's harder for you to get open at times especially on the three-point line the speed will definitely help you out getting more open shots and it'll also you know it has a big Big green window for the speed it actually has okay so you'll see the jump shot i'm pulling up from in these video clips you'll see i'll even get a little bit of space the guy's not able to get coverage and the reason why guys is because the green window is actually a bit earlier than usual okay so um i think 2k labs also did a study on this i didn't watch it completely but they even said some jump sh jump shots have an earlier green window than others and that's when it comes down to speed and this jump shot i'm about to show you guys has one of the biggest and earliest green windows which means the speed on this jump shot 
is absolutely insane. So, what is this jump shot? You guys are like, what, like, what jump shot are you talking about? The jump shot is, guys, Zach Levine base, Kevin Durant released one, Kevin Durant released two, okay? This is the jump shot, guys. It is absolutely goaded. Zach Levine um, as your base, and then Kevin Durant as your releases, okay? So, it doesn't matter what your, um, what do you call it, what your uh, blending is, because it's the same release, guys. So, if you are going to comment that, guys, don't worry. It's the same thing, okay? So, I'm going to show you, actually, as well, how to release this jump shot, okay? So, this is where you release it right here at this point okay you don't want to release it once it hits your forehead you want to release it once it's bouncing from your forehead towards the ring okay so around this area guys right here i got it like stilled for you that's when you want to release the jump shot and it should green every single time okay so you see there guys just a quick pause um so like i said a lot of my other jump shots you you got to release it as soon as it hits your forehead this one's a bit different guys you wait for it to kind of go all the way back once it starts flinging forward anytime at that point when it's on a flick forward that's when you want to release it okay so that sweet spot that i just showed you guys is basically where i green most of it and how i usually timed it i looked at when the time was uh i pretty much finished hitting the forehead when i'm coming up for the shot and once i'm releasing it guys that's when i pretty much release it um and it greens every single time when i did that okay so obviously you have your things like lag and everything like that so definitely keep that in mind um but you can still work with this jump shot really really well now when it comes to latency how good is it with latency and stuff guys it's not the best like i've seen other jump shots that give you more leeway but if you got some good internet guys me i also have delay i have latency as well and i'm still able to work around it um but trust me guys this jump shot is definitely fine in that case okay but if you have like the worst internet sometimes you're lagging the game feels hella slow and you still want to be able to shoot like i don't know like i'd probably quit the game if i were you but if you want to still be able to shoot there are other jump shots i'll obviously have more leeway um but this one guys if you have a normal game normal internet everything like that this jump shot will definitely be fine in that Okay, so trust me, you don't need super fast internet in order to use this. I have latency, and you see the jump shots I'm pulling, uh, and you know me, guys. I, I ain't the greatest 2K player, but I'm still able to get greens out there. So that is a really good thing about it and why I love it so much, guys. Um, it still does work well with latency, even though the speed is really, really fast. I did find, you know, jump shot 98, it's a bit of a tough one to do sometimes. Jump shot 98, people say, oh, yeah, it's a fast jump shot, it's a fast jump shot. Yes, that is true, but it doesn't have the big green window that I like, um, and especially with the latency I have it doesn't work well um to you know when a timer releases and things like that so that's what i found out with this jump shot guys it's really really good um for any type of build now who do i suggest this jump shot for guys i'm telling you whoever you are no matter what build you are i recommend this for you okay it is honestly a really really good jump shot um whether you're a big man whether you're a guard whether you know you got 20 badge points whether you got 10 badge points i don't really care this jump shot will definitely work for you guys. Definitely give it a try in the park. Um, go into my court if you want to first try it out. Um, and I'm telling you, you are not going to be disappointed. Okay, so let's talk about the Zach Levine base. Like I said, it does go with all the greens. It has the earliest green and things like that, which is why I chose it. Now, the Kevin Durant release, guys, I found to be the easiest. But also, it helps you understand the shot a bit better. Okay, as we all know, the releases are usually... It, it kind of like doesn't really change the speed of a jump shot. It usually helps with, you know, the aesthetic of how the jump shot looks like and also coverage okay so the reason why i chose kevin durant um it's got a nice release at the top so sometimes guys you can get away with someone going from like 10 percent coverage to wide open uh, because you shoot it so high on your forehead okay a second reason as well um is this like the way it looks it's more easier to time and it's very easy to green okay so guys that is pretty much it for this jump shot there's really nothing else to it what i do suggest you guys do is definitely give this a try if you haven't found your jump shot i know i release jump shot videos you know every I don't know five or six videos or something like that and the reason why is because I know everyone sometimes you have those days where you, you, your jump shot ain't feeling it alright you feel like your jump shot feels super weird it's not the same and you're not able to green it anymore so that's why I keep releasing these videos at least every once a week just to fill you in with maybe what's a new jump shot you can use or maybe after the patch guys your jump shot may have been patched so give this jump shot a try guys I'm telling you you are not going to be disappointed this and Dante Exum the old Dante Exum one those are the two jump shots that I like to use during this time I usually use this jump shot for rec and uh, pro-am when it's more serious games because yeah guys This is like a really really fast jump shot. So that's when I like to use it But hey, I'm telling you in the park. It'll definitely do well as well um, But it's just with me guys on park. I get a lot of latency So obviously I'm gonna go with like, you know more latency jump shots But yeah guys definitely give us a try. Just want to say thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you did enjoy it, but let's get into the shout outs because I'm not even waiting So quick shout out to it's Chris, Ye Gamer, Trey Burrell, Old Drop J Hunter FC, Matthew Rosado, Drip LF, Al Bape, Chucks41217, 
Soheb McCartry, Roman, and Fire Bros for coming my last video. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all. Guys, I just wanted to say thank you all so, so much. I know I already said this yesterday, but we hit 40k like yesterday. And I just want to say thank you at the bottom of my heart to everyone that has subscribed. In all honesty, guys, I really, really do appreciate it so much. I honestly can't be thankful more enough. And also, if you didn't know already, I want to get you guys in these videos, okay? There's a lot of times where I'm filming these gameplays. I'm just playing with random. So sometimes it's, you know, sometimes it's annoying to play. So guys, feel free to add me. I found out there is a limit to how many people I can add. So I'm going to see if there's a way for me to do this where I might get I might get a discord going or something like that where I can message say oh who wants to play and I'll add you from there so I might be doing that very very soon okay so let me know what you guys want to see next as well if you do have any ideas for you know uh, what video ideas make sure you leave them down in the comments and also lastly guys if you do have any questions you want to say what's up you have you know you want to let me know what's wrong with you know your 2k your my player whatever guys hit me up on Instagram hit me up on Twitter you do not need to follow me I'm telling you you do not need to follow me but just hit me up there guys because that's the best way to reach me all right love you all guys go have a great rest of the day go have some fun i know lockdown has been a bit boring but i hope you guys still have a great weekend all right i'll definitely see you soon guys and peace